Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Gecko and how to play Gecko efficiently and properly within Valorant console. So let's get right into it. So just a quick overview of his kit. He's got four abilities, just like everybody else. We got the wingman. So on primary fire, he clears out areas very similar to Raid's Boombot. And as soon as he locates somebody, he will stun them. However, if you want to do the opposite, if the bomb is planted down, you can go for the defuse. For his next ability is just his basic flash. And all you have to do is just toss it. It'll launch and anytime he gets a pixel of somebody, he will splat them in the face, basically. Very similar to the squid from Mario Kart. And then we got Mosh, who is Gecko's version of the Molly, where you just throw on the ground. And if you're caught in the radius and the inner green portion, you'll instantly die. If you're on the outer port, you'll take some damage. And then you got the ultimate thrash. And if you get detained in that little purple, bluish circular area, you get detained just like Killjoy's ult. So let's deep dive into the ultimate. So the ultimate itself is pretty simple on, on, on its face value, where all you have to do is press R1. And if you see an enemy you like, you just press R1 again. However, there's two other hidden tech that you can also do with Gecko's ult. So let's just say you're aiming around the corner and an enemy's there, but you don't want that launch. So what you can do is press R1 twice and it'll instantly explode. See? So compared to this, where I go launching, and if I hit R1 twice, I can instantly explode it. The next skill is a bit hard in general. I still haven't mastered it myself, but you can literally aim the alt around the corner while in pre-launch. And so when you curve it, you can hit the people in those sweet, sweet corners. But also just remember when you're using Gecko's ult, you don't want to be, you don't want to be predictable when you're using it. Like it's, this is very easy to shoot and you won't have enough time to explode. However, if you're hopping around, it's a lot harder to shoot. I'm B hopping around and bam, I got him. So unlike other agents, Gecko has the ability to pick up his util and then use him over and over again after a cooldown. So to counteract this, Gecko is actually really effective within a double initiator comp. So when you're entering on a site or you're entering just in period, you want to combine your util with either a breach flash, a Sova dart. And so when they're worried about something else, your gecko flash can pinpoint exactly where the enemies are. So for example, let's just say if I want to aim for my character here, I throw, but there's a dart there as well. The guy has to be worried about shooting two things at once. And most likely one of those two things is going to get him. However, let's just say you are just a solo initiator. So that means you want to combine your util. So for example, to counteract the ability to easily shoot the gecko flash, because let's be honest, like sometimes when you use the gecko flash, it's kind of easy to shoot. You want to combine it with the wingman. And so either the gecko flash or the wingman is going to hit an enemy. So for example, the wingman on itself is going to be on the ground very low. So to counteract maybe a crosshair placement, I want to shoot my gecko flash very up high. Still reachable, but very up high to counteract the um, crosshair placement. So for example, like if I see a gecko uh, wingman coming at me, bam, I'm shooting here. Oh, then I have to worry about the flash and I have to flick up while well, then you peek off those three pieces of util. So for example, I do it like this. And as long as they're in the range, bam, I just cleared all this. I can recall it back and I just took safe with my team. And if somebody's here, and he's looking to peek first he's going to have to suffer the wrath of the wingman two if he doesn't kill the wingman he's going to get splat on the face and so then it's an easy kill he has to pick one or the other or he's going to have to go and take a lucky chance and go straight for me while he's getting stunned and flash at the same time now when it comes to defense and you're trying to get for util and you want to capitalize on the fact that you can regain as fast as you can you want to bounce off you want to bounce your util off different areas to get it back as fast as you can so let's just say somebody's coming from a short and i want to flash and maybe peek 
So I'll throw my flash maybe a bit higher. But at the same time, the flash has come back. So for example, I might pop it up, swing, swing, and bam, I can pull it back. It's all about making sure when you use the util in specific locations where you're defending or even attacking, you can grab that util back. So for example, if I want to peek, bam, okay, they have to worry about the wingman up here while I can just flash or shoot right here. And most likely I might be able to get one. So for example, and it's very easy to grab that flash back because it's in a safe location. So bam, bam, took it back, recall. And my cooldown, I believe, as long as you recall it, I believe it's 10 seconds, I believe, or 15. Now, the wingman himself is still pretty good. Um, honestly, he's not the first person I rely on in most situations. But if I'm over here and I want to clear out an area, if I want to clear this, I want to throw my wingman down and then flash behind and swing together. Now, if he swings and I position the wingman exactly how I want it to, he swings into the wingman, he swings into the flash, and he also has to worry about me. So just a quick recap, this is going to be a quick video because Gecko is actually a very straightforward agent. That's why he is, I believe, number four or three on my easiest agents to pick up. All you have to do, I will always start with the wingman, throw it, and then as high as I can, pop, and then swing. And... It lands in a very safe location when you want it to be. Just remember, if you're starting off a round, you want to make sure if you're going to use your util, you want to make sure you pick it up. Do not waste your util. And because Gecko is actually a really bad agent, if you only use his util once around. Remember the three different types of stuff you can do with his ult. The instant detonation, the basic lunge, the bunny hopping, and the ability to curve it around corners. So that's it for the video, everybody. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe down below. Comment down below what agent you want me to do next. I most likely will do a, a controller, but you never know. So in the meantime, peace out everybody, and I'll see you next time.